Hello everybody, it is Badger Wild and we are back with another ship review. Yeah, we're going to be checking out a new ship, a little bit smaller one this time. Not, not such a large one, we're going to be checking out a nice little Corvette here. Uh, and this one is actually from Venom415. Those of you who have been a fan of Space Engineers for a while and been watching for years will know this name from Captain Jack because Venom has built several ships for him. He has built the uh, F-302, the one that Jack uses. Uh, he's also the one responsible for the Valkyrie, which is considered one of the best Pelican type ships, halo ships on the market <laughs> out there. Uh, but this is the uh, RCSP Challenger. This has no mods. It's a Corvette. So if you guys are out there right now, then and also another great thing, this is an older ship, uh, an older blueprint, not one that's been modernized. You can modernize it to yourself. But this is one of those that has none of the new DLC mod or DLCs that's been on there. So those of y'all that are on PlayStation now and Xbox, y'all could literally snatch this thing off the workshop, put it in, put the blueprint in. It's probably on mod iOS as well. Uh, y'all can just take this thing, put it in there, and you'll have you a nice little Corvette to fly around in the black and jump from rock to rock and get your stuff. It's a it's a pretty cool ship. It's got a lot of things going for it. So we're gonna pop a like in here on top of that, and let's take a look at this ship uh, this thing is interesting and one of the things about venom ships that i've always liked is the sleek design it is it is a design that's always going somewhere now i i don't have a problem with this but in a world where everyone is putting blocks onto a ship and making the ship look as jagged and rough looks like a serrated blade out of the Looks like like some ships, in my opinion, come out just looking like a serrated blade from the trenches of World War II. Uh, people trying to greeble, over greeble a ship. It's nice to have a ship that doesn't need all the greebling. It's nice and sleek. Looks like something that would come off of the NASA assembly line or something that you would take off into space to go see your girlfriend on Mars. That being said, let's get on with checking this ship out. Now, uh, this has about eight guns, eight weapon systems on here. I believe it's got two Gatlin guns, one up top, or two on top, two on bottom. We've also got some, two regular missile launcher turrets, or actually no rocket launcher turrets, because that's going to be the new name for them pretty soon. And we've also got a set of fixed forward-firing rocket launchers, because this is a Corvette, uh, and, and as a Corvette, it does handle like a... A, like you'd expect a B2 stealth to handle or a B15. It's not supposed to be the fastest ship, but it's supposed to be for a large block ship. It should be a little bit more agile than your average frigate. So going on here, let's just start taking a look. We've got the bridge area, mostly glass, pretty exposed in the front, but this is something that you're probably going to be running down fighters with probably and zipping in and making a few quick shots and an enemy. So if you're playing with your friends, you could probably run about two or three of these in a fleet, and they would just basically have to cover each other. Going down here, we've got our nice little antenna going, a couple of hydrogen thrusters, and not a whole lot in terms of just sheer detail. Like I said, Venom builds a ship that doesn't need all the greebling. It's, it's a very sleek, has, has lines that are almost circular and smooth, and curve nicely uh, and uh, like they say in, in the beauty contest it's the one with the curves that always wins so <laughs> um, i'm pretty humorous we got a couple ion thrusters in the bottom a connector another ion thruster and more hydrogen thrusters as well as our two main turrets i also got this back here i didn't notice this until i started uh getting the video ready we've got apparently a launch bay i didn't know we had that back there uh, just looking at it. But anyway, but we'll continue that in a minute. We've got a couple of ion thrusters here in the back and some more hydrogen thrusters in a series of nacelle systems. So this is actually a pretty cool idea, having these nacelles. And it just adds to the ship, makes it look like it's got... It makes the um, 
I guess detail block parts have more functionality. So you have these oversized curling sections that add a little bit more protection to your thrusters while also giving it an interesting look. Coming over the top, we've got a few more hydrogen thrusters and just a very well-placed set of angle blocks with more ion thrusters and our Gatlin cannons. On the side, we've got our inset rocket launchers, one on each side. We've also got a connector merge block hybrid airlock. So what will happen is when this ship goes in, this connector, and I've, I'm actually going to probably start doing this when I upgrade some ships, this connector, or this, um, what is word, what is word, merge block is going to be able to straighten your ship up so it looks good so you can walk right off of this and onto whatever space station you're at. You got your nice little connector here. You've got a nice wing coming off the side. I'm not sure what that's for. I figure that's just purely aesthetic. Uh, and yeah, you've got this extra, <laughs> there's extra wing and spore hydrogen thrusters just to give it the ability to maneuver around. So let's get inside this ship. And inside here, we go into this one door. Close that. This does not have the automatic LCD scripts. So it is something that you may want to look into. Now, starting from this airlock, after we come inside, we walk in and immediately met with a jump drive. Yeah, that's right. This thing has its jump drive in here. It has a large cargo container. You'd be amazed at what is smashed into this little ship uh, for the size that it's got. We got a couple batteries. We got our gravity generator and the ability to reach out and touch all this stuff and work on it. Just very nice. We've got a ground down catwalk. Now, like I said before, this doesn't have any of the DLCs. Uh, involved with it so the old school method of creating wire catwalks like we have now was to simply grind down the catwalk <laughs> because you can still walk on the ground down version of the catwalk uh, you just didn't have to have um, it fully built up anyway leaving from that we've got more connectors going to conveyors here we've also got a nice little air vent sitting right here i wonder do we have this mirrored on both sides yes we do we've got these air vents set in like some type of table and it's an interesting way of you know hiding your air vents a lot of times put this down there add like a table going around it or something like that like it's a piece of the bar and no one would ever know what it was uh continuing on we're gonna head up here and we've got two bays here. We've got a hangar bay and a med bay up. Oh, I guess the med bay is down there. We'll check that out in just a minute. We're going to head up here. Because this is where some fun stuff's going to be at. So we come in here. This is this is why I said, you know, this thing packs a whole lot of stuff. We've got our programmable blocks in here. We've got some LCDs, some really nice stuff. Like I said, just a very nice ship. Uh, and going in here, you'll notice we've got a full-size refinery in here for refining materials so yeah this ship can be used as a base of operations so you could actually put the blueprint out work on it a bit and take your beginner ship and turn it into something like this eventually and you would just have way more fun with it got a single hydrogen tank in the back which is more than enough to get a corvette from point to point b i made this mistake with a sentinel and added a big old one I'm trying to figure out what the heck this is. Oh, that's the door. Okay, that's the that's the door for the outside. We gotta go check that out here in a minute. Got more air vents and a way to slip through and work on it, I believe. What does this do? Oh, that enables you to back the vehicle up. Oh, nice. That's amazing. I didn't realize that was a thing. That's that's some old school tricks right there. That it's just nice to look through these older model ships because you, you will learn all sorts of stuff we got oxygen we've got a way back down here but what we're after is over here i want to look in this thing so i want to go over here open this up we are outside oh this is one of the ion thrusters we can actually work and repair a single ion thruster here one of the largest ones so that's actually pretty good that's a good deal you do need to be able to operate so this is a ship that if you had some friends with you you could just work on it and y'all could fix things up as you're in the middle of flying. Just a wonderfully well thought out vessel here. Let's open up this for a minute. And we'll go over here. We've got a whole bunch of conveyor blocks. This is an old thing. Uh, if I were doing this, I would replace these because they are a bit of a tax on the system. 
Uh, for those of you who don't know, conveyor blocks. This was an old thing with old ships. I did this with my old ships as well. It is, it's just a thing that you do with the older model ships back in the day. Before we realized PCU was actually a thing. Before most people thought, you know, PCU wasn't a big deal. And then we found out later a high PCU uh, or a lot of connector ports causes uh, lag issues with the game. <laughs> so this is one of those things I, I would use the new blocks to replace with because you can't even access these. So that is something you, that that's, some, that's one thing going against the ship. Like I said, honest reviews, more batteries. We've got access to some gyroscopes here. And I wonder what this is. Can we access this? Yes, we have access to what appears to be an O2H2 generator on here. And we've got some assemblers, uh, probably on both sides. We'll check the other side just to make sure. But yeah, like I said, uh, this is just an older model ship, but it's one that looks really good. And if you're interested in learning some old build techniques, it's not a bad idea to look into these things and check out the old build tricks that were used by the pros. And Venom, in my opinion, is a pro. Like I don't, I don't knock him for anything he puts in this ship. I mean, everything in here is really impressive. So it appears he has mirrored this on both sides. So it, that's a good thing because then if uh, if one side of your ship is hit, you haven't got all your eggs in one basket. Just a nice thing to have. Let's continue going downward. We're gonna check out. Okay, it's not here. It must be on this side. Yeah, here we go. We'll head down in here. Let's see what we got access to. Okay, we've got another. Can I access that? What is this? So we go through here. And we have a medical room. You can tell this is old school stuff because we don't have. We actually have beds now. <laughs> this this is how you faked uh, beds back in the day. So, yeah, we actually got beds nowadays. You can actually put a decent bed inside of here uh, that would actually help out. And probably. This is this has always been here, so that's not bad. New seats, uh, we've got some of those, some new seats and stuff. But yeah, this is like the old school style med bay before they did all the upgrades and everything before we got the DLCs. Like I said, no DLCs with this. So if you don't have them, you don't need them with this. Uh, let's see, I suppose that's going to go down the same way. We have an ability to repair that if we have to. Let's sneak off in here. Oh, and we have, whew, yawning. We have what appears to be a full-size hangar bay. And we can put something small inside of this and fly it around. It, it, it is one of those things that looks that impressive. Let's go ahead and hit this. Open this nice little bay up here. And as you can see, we've got access to the outside. Just something very cool, very impressive. And like I said, this ship just has a lot of things going for it. This is It's an older school ship, but it has a lot of things going for it right now. So, without further ado, let's slip back on inside and see how this baby flies. Okay. Off we go. Let's run back up here to the bridge, because we have not seen the bridge yet. Also, before we go in there, clever use of blast door blocks here to make an interesting looking doorway. Just very nice. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Would play with this again. So here we have the bridge, and you can see some interesting ideas. Those of y'all that, that are looking at, you know, we in this day and age, we have way better blocks. This is back, oh my god, I don't know how long ago this probably was. Uh, but this is how you would, uh, you can see here, this is where Venom really shines, in my opinion is taking with the least amount of blocks making a bridge that when you walk onto it you're just you would remember it way after you would get done the bridge is, is well, very well executed you've got a nice central area that appears elevated and roomy so you don't have this claustrophobic feel this is pretty similar to the cargo bay in the firefly class from firefly uh it had the catwalks and systems were suspended on the inside of it so the walls were a little bit further out and the people that did it they actually said the reason why they did that was so that the entire room opened up and it was actually there was actually something in there where one of the bad guys mentioned how open the cargo bay was it just the walls flowed away from you so it felt all open and you weren't so claustrophobic inside of basically a tin box in the middle of space 
you see here, we've got a lot of LCD screens just making this look beautiful. We've got these awesome uh, pilot seats. Uh, you have to look up some more of them that we've got. <clears throat> and like I said, this is something that you could get a hold of and do a few minor upgrades and make it look just, just, just really draw some stuff out of it. More LCD screens over here, telling giving you redundant information. <sighs> <sighs> Sorry, it is late and I am tired. <laughs> we also have this interesting LCD screen, which has a a very interesting. And I'm going to say, this is very interesting. I've never seen a ship system like this before. This thing is basically checking the ship by layer. And I guess if something gets damaged, it will tell you that it is damaged. This is one of those... Um, what is what is word? What is word? What is word? It is a diagnostic screen, which tells you exactly which block has been damaged. And this is probably a really good one. I wish I knew which one this was, because it's actually... Not only is it animated, but it's actually a lot better than the current one that I've been using because this actually shows your ship by layer. That'd be interesting. Anyway, let's hop in this thing and see how this Corvette flies. Now, the way this thing flies is about, uh, when I said it flies like a B-15 uh, Flying Fortress, yeah, I'm not I'm not joking. Let's go here and you can see the amount of thrust we got. We got a decent thrust. I mean, if you had a bomber, this would be a pretty fast bomber. But that's how this is supposed to operate. The Challenger is supposed to move like this. This is how Corvette should move. If you're building a Corvette and your Corvette does not have a decent maneuverability like this, you've probably done something wrong somewhere. A Corvette is supposed to zip in and out of the battle, engage with missiles, engage with fighters, other small ships, you know, just take out gunboats if it can. It's supposed to be... And for those that are wondering, a Corvette is basically the go-between. I often call them the buoy knife of... The buoy knife between knife and sword. Okay, a buoy knife is kind of the in-between of that, or the macer of such a thing. It, it is the step... It is the very last step of a knife before it becomes a sword. And that's what a Corvette is. It is the very last... Or it's the very first step uh, of a small ship turning into a capital ship if it were to if you were to grow if you were to grow these ships so yeah just a very good very quick maneuvering ship here for the size that you're going to be dealing with as you can see there it it just flies through very good once again thank you to uh, venom 415 for building this awesome ship. Uh, the Challenger is is well worth the time I have put into trying it out and flying it. It, it is a very good ship, I'm not going to lie. I like the look of it. And it may be old school, but it still looks like something you would build new school. It, it wouldn't take much to, if you're a player, to go in there, swap out the old engines for the newer model engines, make this thing look a little... just. Uh, I hate to say up to date, but that's basically what you would do is just update some of the outer parts. It'd still be vanilla. It would look different, and it would just make your entire gameplay pop. However, if you guys enjoyed this review, please hit me up with a like and a subscribe in the comment. It really helps out the channel and uh, helps keep me motivated to do this, <laughs> I guess is what we would say on that part. Anyway, I hope you guys will enjoy this ship. hope you guys will use it in one of your playthroughs. And as always, this is Badger Wild saying stay safe, stay frosty, and I am signing out.